This is a redub of a video I made uh, a few months ago. Um, there was a bit of a mess up on the sound, so I'm doing it again now. This is uh, how to make a quick DIY potter's wheel. It, I guess, runs on momentum. There's no motor or anything, but it enables you to make a pot. So you start off with a bicycle wheel, as you can see here, and you chop off one side of the axle so um, we uh, it doesn't get in the way, because we're going to strap some boards on top of this. Um, you'll see that the wheel has a dish, um, meaning it's sort of cone-shaped cone slightly. And so we need to cut some holes in some bits of wood uh, to allow that to, um, to poke through. You know, so we'll probably add about three layers of wood on top of this wheel, um, and by the t reducing the hole size each time. And by the time we've put three layers on, uh, we should be uh, good to go. So this hole here is a bit lopsided, as you can see, and you want to try and avoid that because uh, it'll make the wheel wobble as you're using it. Um, there's a bit more weight in the top left-hand corner um, than there is in the bottom right because uh, there's more wood uh, in that area. Um, so for the base, I'm using this uh, clay pigeon trap. I'm just going to drill a hole um, in there, and uh, then this should. Uh, wheels should just slot straight in the hole. You could use uh, a big log or you could drill a hole in a, a, a lump of concrete or anything really, just heavy and uh, they're about the right height. Um, interestingly I saw this, so there's the first, there's two layers on there now, so as you can see I've drilled a sm cut a smaller hole in the second layer up and so the final layer will be um, will have no hole in it at all and that's the surface on which we will uh, make our pots. So there you go, final layers on. We've uh, strapped it all together with a few zip ties and uh, I've given the um, top a run over with a, uh, a uh, f sander, flat disc on a 4 inch angle grinder just to get all the any splintery bits off. I mean plywood would be a far superior choice to OSB but that's what I had in the shed and you know so that's, uh, that's what I used. Um, so the idea is you put your clay on the top you use a stick or something to whiz the, um, the, the disc round and it will keep running for a while. Here we go here's the stick you put that in your little dent that you've made maybe drill a hole and then you whiz it around and then you quickly slap your clay on top and uh, go to it. And here are some of the pots we made, which you can see look like pots. Um, and that's about it really. Thanks for watching and uh, I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, and have a go, it was good fun.